torch in that lane to lane I got a brick in the bag, you niggas is sad Throw up the gang you claim I got a stick in the stash, you niggas is ass I let the dang go bang Your body stiff in the bag, I'm really a savage Please don't say my name I gotta get to the cash, I'm making it fast, yeah I gotta do what I have to do Sippin' on lean with apple juice All of your niggas, they mad at you Hang out the window, I had to shoot them All of my niggas, they ready for Fetty They shipping the bricks and they come from the Medi And 40 on me, you niggas not dead in me Stand in the kitchen, they cook up the recipe Pockets is green, they fill with the celery Saying I'm hot, the people keep telling me Niggas is rats, they probably are telling me Kill me a nigga, commit a felony I get the hate and I'm feeling the jealousy Making a movie like I am Bill Bellamy This is not loud, so what is you selling me? Serving a dog, but this is not pedigree I'm on a mission to give me some paper I bought me a K and it came with the laser You niggas is cavers, I'm really some fakers And most of your family is really some haters you niggas not getting no love from me All that you get is a slug from me You bitches not getting no hug from me You not even sipping on bubbly What up, y'all? Y'all now rocking with Flex Luger. Shout out to Ayers Entertainment. Y'all now tuned into my creator's journey. Gang. And we are back with another creator's journey. It's your boy, Ayers Harris. I'm sitting here with the Syracuse native, my guy, Flex Luger. What's good? What's good, my nigga? Thank you for your time, bro. What's good? Appreciate you, man. Welcome to Live Studios. What's up? You just did a dope song in there. That was a dope sample. Yep, the feel Pac me? sample. Yeah, Picture feel me? me rolling. Picture me rolling. Tupac, legendary. I definitely wanted to tap into your journey as an upcoming artist. Right. You know, I saw you've been you've been out here since about like 2018. 2018. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's 2022 now. I see you got music with Famous Dex. You got like four or five albums out. So yep, yep, you're going yep. crazy, bro. So I definitely wanted to tap into your journey as an artist. See where you're at now. What could we expect for 2022 and beyond? You feel me? 2022, you can expect my Jewel and Deluxe album coming out October 14th. We just dropped the EP in July. Y'all can go check that out on that all was streaming. Drilling. Yep, drilling. drilling. Yep. Facts. You can check that out on all streaming platforms. But um, we're going to do the Jewel and Deluxe October 14th. That's what we're looking for for the rest of 2022. It's going to be hard, bro. I'm looking forward to it for mm -hmm. real. So, I mean, you already told us what to expect, but I know there's a lot more, but I want to start off with just uh, the concept behind your name, like Flex Luger. Where did mm. that come from? Well, I got the name from my record label, Flex Mob, so I just continue to, you know, address the name with uh, Flex Luger. Fire, fire. Mm -hmm. And you came, up, the name to it. you came up with this name when, like years ago? Probably around 2018. Okay. I used to be called, uh, my name was called Lamborghini, my rap name. Okay. Then I realized that wasn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you look up my name, a, a, Lambo's a Lambo right? pop up. <laughs> so I had to figure out a new way to get my name out here. So I figured out, you know, I'll change it to Flex Luger. Flex Luger, I like that. And that was my Instagram username when I first started Instagram. So why mm, not? Might as well stick with it, right? Might as well stick I like with that. it. I like that. So... You started dropping music in 2018, but you've been rapping for years. I've been rapping for years. I've been rapping for about six years. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, who were some of your like influences growing up? Like, who was you listening to as a kid? As a kid, I was growing up listening to G-Unit. You know Tupac. Yeah, Tupac. Mm -hmm. But my era, I was listening to G-Unit, mm -hmm. D-Block. Mm. Of course, Dipset. Hell of course, yeah. Dipset. Definitely But those, Dipset. those three groups influenced me to start rapping. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Fire, fire. Do you have, like, people in your family as well that's, like, musically inclined? No, it's just me out of the family. Okay, mm -hmm. dope, dope. So you're holding it down for I'm me? I'm holding it down. Yeah, that's lit. So tell me about the first project you dropped, like, first album that was on all platforms. My first album I dropped was Blue Magic in 2020 mm -hmm. uh, with my producer, c Hop. Fire. Um, What's the concept behind it? The concept was, I'm glad that you're touching on this. The concept was sampling music, what we hear now two years later. Everybody from all over is sampling music. Right. Me and my producer, C-Hop was the first ones to start doing that. Honestly, I was, I want to put this on record. Mm -hmm. I was the first one to do a drill sample beat, man. Me and my, me and my brother, man. You already hear it. 2020, we can go back to the date. And let's see who started making drill sampling beats and going off drill beats with samples after that. Mm. 
Talk your shit, bro. Talk your shit. <laughs> Let it be known. Hey, man, I'm just stating <laughs> the facts, man. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love it. And this is why we tap into your journey, you know, because mm-hmm. a lot of people just see you as the artist. They see you on Instagram. Yeah. But they don't really know the story behind anything that you're doing. You no, know? they your don't. Your name, your, your, your music, anything, you know. That's a fact. So this is why we like to really tune into you as a person as well, you know. That's a fact. As an artist and as a human being. You know appreciate y'all for having me up of course here. of course bro so you dropped blue magic and then what was your most recent your most recent ep was drilling right drilling yes okay and, and i did that out. i did that with the same producer c hop shout so out to him we, shout out to my brother c hop man we created a lot of magic in this motherfucking business man mm-hmm. but um he did that project as well nice nice okay nice little ep that's dope and that was all just straight drill Extra yep, beats. just drill beats. And now you're gonna drop a deluxe I'm, I'm next dropping, month. Yep, dropping the deluxe He's next active. month. Active. He's active. Yeah. You know we gotta talk about this music video that you dropped like four years ago with Famous Dex. Like, yeah. This is yeah. when you first came out. You already got a heavy hitter. Yeah. Like for sure. For numbers sure. is going up. Like, mm-hmm. tell me about that that experience, that story. Like, well, shout out to Famous Dex, man. Right, shout out to Famous Dex. He looked out, real nigga. Um, that was a great experience, man. You know, um, at that time, I just started getting into the rap business. And um, my brother DJ Sean, that's Famous Dex DJ, he's the one who connected us together and we made that happen. And, um, it was a great experience. Shout out to Famous Dex. We uh, created a, a dope song that went viral around the world. Million streams today. Go to SoundCloud right now. You can go check that out. It's on streaming platform. My guy got his own Vivo. He's on Vivo. Like the video out on Vivo. <laughs> He's official. Know. He's official. You feel me? And then like, you know, I see you. You're definitely out here. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, you, you verified on Instagram. Like, yep, you, you got yeah, a yeah. name for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like. Was that like, I know it wasn't an overnight success, but. No, nah, it took a lot of time and hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, money, mm-hmm. you know, grinding. It tell, didn't come over. Tell them a little bit about like the, I guess the marketing aspect as an artist, like for those that don't know, you know. The marketing aspect of the business is a big key. If you don't have the money and the connections for marketing, you want a uh, a yeah, hamster wheel. You got a long way to go. We got a long way to go, man. You know, <laughs> yeah. so like, you know, first thing I want to say is you got to get the marketing right if you were artist. I'm still trying to get my marketing right as mm-hmm. an up and coming artist. You know, that's that's the biggest key in this business because you could have the dopest song in the world, but if you don't have the marketing and nobody's hearing, nobody's hearing it, nobody's hearing it right, right, you know, right. it's a lot of artists out here just probably can go number one right now, but they don't got the marketing behind them. So that's a big key that we all all got to tap into more. 100%, mm-hmm. bro. 100%. Yo. What's like some... Motiv- I mean, you've already been dropping some gems, but like, what's some motivational inspiration you could leave like your fans, your followers, your supporters with? Never give up. Facts. That's the best thing I could tell somebody is never give up because you never know when it could happen. Today, tomorrow, a month, a year five years right right never give up you know because flowers don't grow overnight right that's a fact yeah. you know you, you look at other people and you say sometimes damn i, I wish be you, right there i should be right yeah. there you can't let that discourage you you know right. you got to keep on your path your own lane your own journey your own journey your creator's own, journey exactly. you know uh-huh. that's a fact and you're gonna get there god got you he got right. everybody literally it's you just, know it's just universal timing right? it's just timing mm-hmm Hundred percent, bro. Also, I wanted to ask you because so you're originally from Syracuse. Like, I'm from Syracuse. What's like the? Uh, I guess how is it for an artist being from Syracuse? You know what I'm saying? Like upstate. It's tough. You gotta do a lot of traveling. It's a lot, a of, lot of traveling, yeah. networking. It's a small city. Um, it's a it's a, it's based around the Syracuse University. Right. I don't know if you're familiar with Definitely. Syracuse University. Definitely. You know, Carmelo went there, right. got us our first championship. Mm-hmm. You play ball too? I played ball back in the day. Okay. You okay. know, but it didn't work out, you know, but I will I was nice. Right. <laughs> you know, so we all was nice back right. in the day. We all had the shot. Who didn't have the we shot? Had a shot? At least, right? At least. <laughs> that's funny, so I, now that's dope though. Like I don't I don't think I've I think you're the first artist that I've um interviewed from upstate. 
but yeah. but Syracuse got some gems, man. You know, right, that's um, what I'm saying. Like, look you at, know, we got uh, Tusi. You Tusi, know, Tusi facts. came from Syracuse. Facts. We got Stove Guy Cooks that came from Syracuse. Mm-hmm. Um, Scory, you know who Scory Definitely. is from Polo G. Polo G yep, yeah. yeah, he's from Syracuse. That's crazy. I know that. Yeah, that's dope. he's from okay. Syracuse. We got a couple niggas from Syracuse, man. Don't sleep on that area. Mm-hmm. They outside. We bringing them to the lab <laughs> right now. You feel me? That's a fact. Niggas is outside, yeah. man. Well, nah, man, I definitely appreciate your time, bro. Like, I'm definitely looking forward to, like, what you got coming up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What to expect for 2022 and 2023, actually. Mm-hmm. We're almost done with 2022. 2023. We're about to drop the new EP. Yep. Can we expect more visuals this year? Yeah, we're going to drop a new video. I got something for the works for the Drilling Deluxe uh, album coming out. We got a new video coming for that, so y'all can stay tuned for that. I see you have famous decks. You got any more like big features coming up? We got some features in the works. Okay. You know, we don't you know, let the cat out the bag. Right, right, a lot right, of things right. coming right now. You know, you're cooking know. up right I'm now. I'm cooking up. All right, bro. I'm back outside. Right, right. It's that time. Mm-hmm. It's that time. But nah, man, I definitely appreciate your time, bro. For real, we definitely gonna stay tapped in. Mm-hmm. You know, we definitely love to have you back when you drop that project. And anything else you have coming up, we love to just stay in tune with your journey. You know. Appreciate you. Just let them know where they can find you and follow you on all platforms. All right. You can follow me at Flex Luger on Instagram, Twitter, Flex Luger with two R's, Facebook, Flex Luger. That's where y'all can find me at. Wow. Make sure you add him on your favorite music platform. Check him out on YouTube. My Flex guy is Luger nice. For all that, too. He's outside, you feel me? I'm outside. <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro.